I would like to introduce you to a kind of vegetable. In Thai, we call Pak Sien, but in many countries, they call different names. Some people call spider flowers. Some people call spider weed. Some people call spider spider flowers. So this kind of plant is very unique because they grow wild. They like weed, but they are very useful plant because they have a lot of nutrition in there, and then many. Place they use for medicinal purpose also. It's very interesting to learn to eat this kind of vegetable. How to grow them? It's very easy. This is the seed. The seed is quite small. Whenever they drop on the ground, they will grow well. Mainly, we just prepare the bed, till the soil very well, make it loose, and then sow the seed. Not very close together. Not very thick. Because they grow fast, and then they take over quite a lot too. So we sow the seed in the bed, then we cover them with straw, not very thick straw, just enough to prevent evaporation, and then control some weed. This is the thickness that we like to for this kind of vegetable, because. We need to see the soil a little bit. This kind of plant, they have two leaves, so they cannot come up. It's too thick straw. This is the plant start to sprout. The leaf will be quite long, like a capsule, like this. This is a baby one. It's not many days. A few weeks later, they grow fast. It will look like this. This is the. Young spider flowers, spider weed that they're growing. The most important thing is we need to learn how to harvest them. So we keep at least three branches. The less of it, we break it off. So they will sprout. They will the new shoot will shoot out very fast after that. This is very productive. Plant because when we harvest them, they will have new shoot come out very quick. Sometimes we plant them, we harvest almost every day. We don't let the flowers bloom too much. This is perfect to harvest them and eat them. So if we let the flowers bloom too long, it will become seeds, and then they will they won't. Grow well anymore, so we don't want to have part of seed like this. This is what we don't want it. Except if we want to save seed, we we'll let them grow like this. But if we want to grow for eating, we can harvest them before that. When we harvest them, this is the young shoot that we harvest them. In many country, they do different way of cooking, but in Thailand, we do only pickle. Or fermenting, only. We don't do another way. And then the technique is very easy. Just bring the vegetable to clean, clean them very well, and then after that, we add clean water in there, and then break them, make them shorter. It will be easy to eat. Break them very short, and. After that, we will squeeze them. Squeeze them to make the leaf or the stem blues a little bit. So when we add salt in there, it the salt can get in the plant easily, and then it's easy for probiotic to grow. Fermentation is very popular in many countries because it's good taste. After We squeeze them enough. We can observe that we can see that it's a little bit blue, like this. That is perfect. Then we just uh, take all the water out, throw the water out, and then keep only the vegetable in another bowl. That perfect squeeze that we wanted, and then we add new water in there, clean water. 
just enough to cover, not a lot. And after that, we need to add salt, sea salt, or any kind of salt is okay, except salt with iodine. Because salt with iodine, it makes the fermenting taste very bad. So try to avoid salt with iodine, it will be the best. So we don't have recipe to add salt in there. Just add them a little bit and then test it often. Test it to see if it a little bit salty, it will be perfect. Because we want it to be a little bit salty. When we let it ferment it, it will be sour. If it's not salty enough, uh, it will be too sour. We try to make the salty and sour balance. That's the test of fermentation with this vegetable. So we add and test, add and test to get a little bit salty. That's perfect. The next thing is we use sticky rice. Sticky rice is have very high sugar in there. So if some people they soak sticky rice before they steam it, the water, leftover water from soaking sticky rice, we can use to do fermenting. It will be very good test and it helps microorganisms to grow very fast. Just a little bit of sticky rice mixed in there, that is enough. It's so easy and simple. Just add salt and sticky rice and water and then that's, that's it. We just leave it in the sun. Let it be in the sun to let the heat heat it up and then microorganisms start to propagate very fast after that. So to prevent dust and bugs when get in there, we cover with plastic or some glass lid is okay too. We leave it fermented for one day. The next day it will be sour. It's perfect to eat. It very good taste after that. So this is the way we eat in Thailand. If we want to save seeds for the spider wheat or spider flowers, we let them have a pot. The pot need to be quite yellow. That means it's ready to harvest. If it's still green like this, that means it's not ready to harvest the seed yet. It's good to wait another week or two. It will turn yellow. Whenever we see the seed pot turn yellow, that is perfect. Look at this one. This is a little bit yellow. And then it breaks very fast. The shell of the pot will, will break very fast like this. And then we see the seed is black color. If the seed is still green or white, that that's means it's not ready yet. But if it's turned black like this, it's good. So we just save seed like this. It's so simple and easy. This is the way we keep propagate them and save seed. Seed is good. Saving seeds is mean we need to save the way to eat them, the technique how to use them. The wisdom of using each kind of plant, the wisdom how to eat each kind of plant is very important thing because that's the way we save in our life. So we should not eat only hamburger and pizza. There's so many good things to eat on this earth. We need to eat more variety to have to make our life stronger, healthier. And we can enjoy the different tastes of food. Food is good. Enjoy eating. Enjoy diversity of food. This is the way we enjoy our life. Eat more. 